Hey guys, I'm heading to work. Um, sorry, I haven't been on in a while. I've been taking a step back from social media just so I could uh, kind of look at what's going on. You know, just uh, I'm just doing a little bit of my own research, and I've noticed a frightening uh, trend that's been happening on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, a little bit of Twitter. Twitter also. Um, that has been displaying um, very violent and extreme content um, against, you know, I mean, I, I saw one video where a bunch of black kids were beating up a little white boy, um, saw a bunch of white kids beating up a, white, a black girl, um, cops beating up people, people spitting at cops. I mean, I've just seen a lot of very extreme content that's just popping up on my my stream, and of and it and of course it evokes an emotional reaction. You know, when I was watching the video of the of the of the, the black kids beating up this white kid, um, it was terrible. It was it was horrible. And and I started looking at people's comments, which you know, of course, you know, it's it's leading people down a very dangerous road. Um, that uh, because it's it's inspiring fear, and, and so I asked a question, and I've started to do this whenever I see a post like this that just pops up on my um, my Facebook or, or Instagram, and I'll, I'll ask the question, you know, that is terrible um, what I'm seeing, but where did you get that video? Because I want to know, I'm, I want to do my own research, and I have not received a response from anybody yet, you know, and. And it just makes me wonder, what was the actual purpose of posting these videos? You know, I mean, and I can't see any other reason other than to instill fear, hatred, and, you know, I mean, some, you know, some sometimes I, I see what's happening with people is they're getting such, uh, they're getting so overwhelmed with these extre this extreme news, because it's in the media also, that they just tune out, they just they just bow out, you know, because they they become so desensitized and, and fearful that they just check out. They don't do, want to do anything. And, and and what I'm encouraging people to do is to do research on where this content is coming from. I'm not, you know, and I'm not blaming the individual because I think they're being misled too. Um, but I, I'm encouraging people to open your eyes and check some things out. Don't just go on face value on what you're seeing. Because there's more to the story. And I'm not trying to justify anything. You know, I think, you know, the kids, you know, I think any violence should be, is a crime. Any violence is a crime, period. Black, white, purple, whatever. It's a crime. But I am trying to look at what's behind this message. Why are we posting this? Where did this post originally come from? What's going on? You know, I was watching, uh, I watched the Canadian Prepper. Um, I, I love that guy. Um, he, he really kind of inspired me to do backpacking and camping. <laughs> Excuse me. And... You know, he was he was basically breaking it down on how the uh, the dark powers that be. And mind you, I don't I don't necessarily you know ascribe to the conspiracy theories, even though I do believe something else is going on. Okay, <laughs> but he was basically putting it out there that you know It is a design plan to keep people afraid and inactive. And that's what happens. What I, that's what I'm seeing a lot of happening. I know that didn't sound right. That's what I see, see happening a lot <laughs> with people on social media. We see something and we just take it at face value and we don't research it. We haven't, we, we don't, and, and, and that is so dangerous right now. 
you know, I was I was in Bible study last night and, and we were talking about, um, you know, we, we I, I love the discussions we're having about black people in the Bible, you know, and, and, and that's one of the questions, you know, I like to have conversations with people like, where are the black people in the Bible? Just to just to just to stimulate some intellectual conversations about that. So anyways, <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's my allergies. Um, anyways, we were talking about that, and we were talking about you know the identity of Africans in the Bible and how the identity of African Americans you know have been, has been damaged through you know slavery and 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 everything that's happened since then. And only and look, and I'm not I'm not trying to step on any toes, but you'd have to be an idiot not to understand that there has been some damage to African-American self-esteem because of slavery. I mean, come on. I mean, real, let's be serious. All right. <laughs> but beyond that, I was talking about recovering and embracing the new identity of being being great. You know, being royalty. You know, I you remember I did that King and Queen series, and, and and in my mind, in my perception, I said, you know, in order to be royalty, that means I have to be wise, patient, and, and and full of grace. That means my job is to bring people to understanding, to healing, to help everybody, to help people prosper as I prosper, because I'm invested in people. And so, you know, I, I, I kind of basically brought, brought it out to like, you know, you know, it says, you know, in the, in the Bible, we're supposed to be the light of the world, the, the salt and the light, which means we're supposed to be the, the flavor. And, 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 and part of the illumination <laughs> of education and awareness. And so when I do these videos on being aware of of the confusion that is designed to keep us dysfunctional. That's the reason why. I don't want us to die in the darkness, afraid, full of anger, hate, and bitterness that has been instilled and manipulated for someone else's greed. And I totally believe that the true heart of evil is is the core of that is money. You know, when I talked about slavery and how slavery exploded because of the invention of the cotton gin, because it was money. And when you look at, at uh, and, I, and I hate to bring it out there, but when you look at the coronavirus and our system, our system makes money off the sick. That's why there's more programs for addiction than for prevention. Hello? Mm. We have more, pro look, if you, if, you, if you take a step back and look at the systems in our country, and I'm not just talking about systematic racism, okay? I'm talking about all the systems that are designed to keep people in power and keep other people in poverty. And I'm talking about all people. Don't, don't get it twisted out there. <laughs> I mean, like my one friend was telling me about um, <clears throat> other Supreme Court judges and how, I think, I think that's what we're talking about, how people in, in, in Congress and, and, and Supreme Court judges have so many unre un unbelievable benefits of their station. And I'm like, when you look at it and you, I mean, I know it can be overwhelming when you actually start doing research, but when you look at how many, uh, how many real injustices that are happening out there, it is no wonder that I'm seeing all this distracting content, distracting content that keep us away from the real truth of what's really going on.
And I'm not, and I'm not saying that there isn't racism. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that there hasn't been a hard role for Africans in America. I'm not saying that at all. <clears throat> but I'm saying that there is also another agenda that's going on. And we need to address them all. And, and, and I'm just encouraging people that, that when you see some extremely inflammatory content, okay, it is meant to evoke an emotional reaction. And it is meant to distract you from the real issues that are going on in our society. It's meant to instill fear, apathy, and stagnation. Because they don't want you to really actually do anything that will make a difference. They want you to be angry, hateful, and upset, full of fear and anxiety, paralyzed and ignorant. And so I've come to understand that social media is being used as a weapon now, a psychological weapon to manipulate the masses with content that creates more ignorance than understanding. And I am charging each one of you guys to be responsible. When you see some crazy content, either do the research about what it is or snooze that joker. We can't afford to keep putting this bad mojo in our consciousness because it's, it, it's damaging. It was damaging me. <clears throat> It's hard to watch a woman being beat, regardless of whatever happened. I, I, and, and, and what happens is I'll see these little snippets of violence. I don't see what happened prior. All I see is that violent moment left to my own interpretations, according to my own perceptions and my own biases. And I believe everybody has a racial bias, okay? Because we are culturally ignorant about other cultures as a whole. So when I see uh, 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 a bunch of white people chasing a black girl, I immediately think that it's, it's a racially involved incident because of my own cultural bias. And it is my responsibility to do the research. And above all else, because I'm a Christian, it is my responsibility to be praying about that. I want to be an example. That's why I do these videos. Of something better. And so I don't just pray about it. I don't, don't, don't just talk about it. I am trying to be about it, reaching out to help my fellow brother and sister, regardless of their color. <clears throat> and, 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 and my friends know that. So I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging the, <clears throat> the people who are watching my content to be better, to be better. We are meant to be better. Don't fall for the tricks that are out there because it's just meant to distract you from what's really going on. Don't let it contaminate your heart because I need people with a heart to make a change in this world today, okay? So I love you guys. And I'm praying for you guys. I know you guys are praying for me, and I appreciate that so much. <clears throat> and I'm going to work. All right? Peace.